Greetings Highlanders fans and welcome to GoHighlanders.com's coverage of this weekend's UCR Women's Soccer Tournament, where UC Riverside and New Mexico State had to settle for a 1-1 tie Friday evening. UCR outshot the Aggies 12-4 in the first half, but just one of those shots found the back of the net as Selena Valencia picked up her second goal of the season following a scramble in front of the New Mexico State goal. The Aggies had a few chances to tie the match in the second half, including this opportunity with 17.34 remaining. Jenea Cambro broke behind the UCR defense, but goalkeeper Jessica White was able to smother the shot to keep the Highlanders on top. UC Riverside wouldn't remain as fortunate as the match wound down. Following an offside call on the Highlanders, the Aggies launched a quick counterattack that caught UCR on its collective heels. Mary Kay Kozel found Layla Todd on the restart and the match was tied at one. The 1v1 save that I made for um, our team, I think, put us in a good position. Um, it allowed us to get some heart and some hype up to keep pushing. Um, I know that we kind of felt discouraged because we kept playing backwards, backwards, backwards. And I know you get a big save like that, and um, it helps your team to pump up um, emotionally and it gets in your bones somehow. The goal against was a tough ball. Um, we did mentally break down a little bit. Um, I mean, it happens during a game and we just got to push to get those two extra inches, those two extra steps, um, have a couple more seconds of heart to uh, get that ball and we'll fight back and it's a learning game. So we'll learn from it and go at it hard. There were just two shots taken in the two overtime periods, both by the Highlanders, but neither was on goal and the tie was in the books. Our goal for today was to get a shutout. We haven't shut out a team yet. Organizationally, I thought we were much better, uh, but unfortunately, two minutes left, they, they get the equalizer and, and it put us on our heels until we got some momentum in the overtime, but it, it, wasn't, a, it wasn't an effort issue, just, just mentally, um, we need to learn from it. it. Just was one of those games where a team wanted it a little bit more, had us on our heels. And I guess the positive is that this this tie feels like a loss. So I guess we're in a good spot. Um, that uh, that we expect more out of ourselves. And we'll bounce back. And we've got Sunday against Utah. And hopefully, hopefully they dig in and we can get a result. The Highlanders are back in action on Sunday, September 2nd, as they take on UTEP in the final match of the tournament. Kickoff is slated for 1 p.m. Pacific time.